So what we have here is Pioneer's newest multi-format player, the CDJ900. Um, it is a CD player, but it also has a USB ports, a Type-A port right here up top. You can use that to connect an external hard drive or a thumb drive or a, an iPod or anything like that. And um, another USB port in the back that you can use to connect a computer because this is also um, a, uh, a MIDI controller. And finally, there's a Ethernet port here. Um, you can uh, connect a CAT5 cable and then share the information that's on this drive to uh, this player or up to a total of four players. All right, so uh, let's say you're playing a, disc, a CD and want to switch to the external hard drive. You just press the USB button, press down the rotary, and now um, you can search your entire library by uh, name of the artist, name of the album, uh, name of the track and then uh, once you select your tracks for example you can also sort it you just press the menu button and now you can do an alphabetical sort an artist sort album sort BPM sort for example so now I have my entire library sorted from 82 BPM to uh, whatever my maximum in here is well, 158 BPM the back button brings me back um, one level in my navigation here. Um, I can also create playlists. So here I have one called December Demo. It records a history. Every, every track I play goes into the history. If I power the unit down, power the unit back up, it creates a new history. So that way I can go back to um, see what tracks I played last Saturday night. I can take a history and save it as a playlist if I want to play the same uh, set over and over again. Um, if I go into search, I have um, I have letters right here. This is where I can just type in what I'm looking for. So um, you know, you just press the press down and then enter, there's my artist. Um, folder structure, if I have an external hard drive or thumb drive connected that has not been analyzed by Rekordbox, I can simply access the folder structure and uh, play the songs back that way. Um, I can also do a search by uh, the length of the track, the year the track was released. Name of the record label. There's a five star rating system I can utilize. Um, BPM, name of the remixer. File name, genre, key. Uh, record box does not auto detect the key, but I have the ability to enter the key if I know what it is and then do a search that way. Um, I can color code my library, so pink could be a certain artist or a certain remixer or a certain record label, and then red could be something else. And uh, I can also uh, sort it by uh, by bit rate. So if I want to if I want to play only uncompressed files or only MP3s, I can uh, do a search here by bit rate. So if you uh, if you're looking at your tracks and you see a track that you want to play later but you're not ready to play it yet, you can simply tag it, press tag, and now when you press the tag list, the track will show up right there in your tag list. So the tag list is sort of a, a temporary playlist. It's only for tonight and it'll be deleted once you power down. Um, but it's sort of like back in the day when we were playing vinyl, you would use to uh, pull the record sleeve out of the record crate and um, to remind you that that's something you need to play later. So that's what the tag list is. If you press info, um, it gives you all the information about the track that you have selected. So here's the name of the track, name of the artist, name of the CD. Underneath is a waveform. So you can see you have a bit of an intro here, bit of an outro there, not much of a breakdown. And um, if you press the menu button down for two seconds, you're accessing utility mode. Here you can turn quantize on and off. If quantize is on and let's say you're setting a bad loop, your loop is off by a fraction, like an eighth of a second or something, quantize will correct it for you. So you never have to worry about setting a bad loop again. Um, 
the uh, CDJ900 is also a full-fledged MIDI controller, so you can uh, change your MIDI channel right here. You can change your digital output from 16-bit to 24-bit. And um, it shows me right here that the uh, version of the firmware on this player is 2.0. Pioneer will periodically release um, new versions of the firmware, so that way um, your uh, CJ900 will always stay up to date. Uh, finally, I want to point out that the 900 plays audio files in the MP3, AAC, WAVE, and AIFF format. So that sums up the uh, Pioneer CDJ900. Thank you.